All right, hey, a quick video. Um, I've never done this before, so it's new to me and I'm learning. So maybe someone else, it's new to you or you've always wondered. All right, this is my, uh, from Kent Eden from Sweden. He set this all up and he did a wonderful job. Very well engineered, uh, Jan Aki. Norberg, Norberg race cars built a lot of this stuff. The plate and the, this is a Bostic uh, Pro Mod crank girdle. If you have a supercharger, these are awesome. Keeps the crank from pulling and bending. And Anyway, let me start off by saying I'm setting up the crank trigger and the cam trigger to be in the proper positions. On the compression stroke, I've already verified that, and this happens to be at 50 before top dead center. The cam needs to be, which I can't see, I'm gonna take the water pump off and see where it's at. But 50 as in the MSD needs to be right at a magnet. This is the crank trigger and, and it is right on a magnet right now. So let's look at the, the uh, spec here. At the, uh, the spec for the computer I'm using is a, a fast XFI. So it says, of course, right here, the cam input needs to be between 10 and 80 degrees before the crank input. So the, right now the crank's set at 50. So the cam needs to be at 60 to 130 before top dead center. So the magnet on the um, crank, I mean on the cam sensor, it's a, not a hell effect, it's a, like a flying magnet. So it's inductive pickup. Um, that's behind the water pump and we'll verify what that is. What I'm gonna do is take the water pump off and back the crank up to see where the magnet is. Because if you can, I don't know, see down here, there's a magnet right there for the crank. And there's also, well, there's four on this, you know, because it's going to show uh, four pulses. Then it's going to see a cam. Then it's going to go, oh, number one is the next signal. So I'm at number one pistons to, for a sequential system. So I'm going to pause, take the water pump off, and do that. Okay, back at you. Now, if you would see, I just took the water pump off. And the reason I have to take it off is because that's my timing pointer. So it was here at 50. How am I going to... Is that it? Anyway, how am I going to see where it's at? Well, it looks like... See, there is the magnet right there. So if I, I mean, it looks like it's a head, like it should be. So I'm gonna back the crank back and um, see where it looks like it's centered and then count, then put the water pump back on and see where the timing pointer's at. So when this magnet gets centered, okay. How about there? Is that centered? Yeah. Yes, I think it's centered. It's pulled aluminum out of the water pump where I have the timing pointer. I'm just going to finger tight it. Okay, so. I'm gonna grab the camera and show you where we're at. Looks like a 100 uh, or 99. That's before top dead center. Okay, so did that make the spec? Yes, it did. Let's verify. 60 to 130, it's right in. It's right on in between. So we're good. Now, that's... Basically, what I've been learning, 
on a, a the computer that's relying on cam and crank signal to know where number one is. It just needs to know from the cam before number one. So it so when the cam pulses in, this at the, in this case at a hundred before top dead center, computer knows hey, the next cylinder is number one. And then the MSD rolls by at 50 before, that's number one, and then it can do its calculating and, and fire in sequence until it sees the cam again after eight pistons, start over again with number one. It sees the cam, start over again, number one. Um, a bulkhead right here or firewall connection. So on the other side it is a lug and, and the battery plus. And it comes right here, goes to the starter. Also from on the other side, an eight, uh, four gauge wire goes through a grommet and up to the underhood fuse center. Now from the starter, this a four gauge, which is in that green and black loom, goes up to the alternator. Okay, now for grounding, the same thing. I got a ground all the way from the battery. So this ground goes to the block via this bolt to the tranny. This ground goes to the front of the block. It's eight gauge or, uh, I mean, excuse me, four gauge. Then there's a ground on this side to the chassis from the block to the, to the frame. And that should be it for, for grounds. But this here is the uh, four gauge wire that goes into the interior and then to the bulkhead fitting, that, that power bulkhead fitting down there. To familiarize myself with the wiring, I, with the fast, I located every wire and, and confidently figured out which wire was what uh, put them all back here. There's the fast XFI, the, the main brain box, and that's the ignition box there. So I'm pretty sure I have every wire figured out. Kent's got a nice cheetah shifter, my favorite shifter. There's some wires going some places that I'm not certain. It's basically not to the XFI, but to the dash. And I'll figure that out later. A little bit at a time. This is enjoyable and fun. There's the back seat, a lot of room back there if you want to go for a ride. All right, Carl Alwine, Alwine Engines, take care.
see if it is. Get my keys and start it up. We'll watch oil pressure. 